Hey guys, welcome to the show. I'm so excited to be here today in front of a great Armenian restaurant called Carousel. Great Armenian community here in Glendale, California. I'm about to meet one of my great friends. His name is Ken Davidian. He's the star of a movie called Bora. He's done a lot of great movies, including The Artist, which won an Academy Award. He's done great TV shows. Uh, so I'm really excited to finally get out and meet with him today for lunch. He'll talk about his Armenian background growing up in Los Angeles. And I don't know what else he's gonna talk about. I think you guys are gonna love this guy. He's so lovable, funny, and a great all-around guy. So let's go inside, check it out. Good seeing you. Wow. I have the Armenian Meze here for you. So how are you? Yeah. Good. Are Good you interviewing you. me or am I interviewing you? Well, we're just hanging out. Good seeing you. Okay. We're hanging out. We're just hanging out. I want you guys to meet Ken. The real Ken. The real Ken. We want yeah. the real Ken, not, not the actor Ken. Oh, or... okay. All right. <laughs> This is such a great restaurant. Now, this booth was also used by the Kardashians, yes, right? Yes, they interviewed the Kardashians here. What is it like to be, to grow up as an Armenian American in Los Angeles? I mean, how much your Armenian background uh, influenced your upbringing and how has that played into your everyday life? My grandmother was an Armenian actress. Please understand, my grandfather and father, they were garbage men. They picked up garbage. I looked at my grandmother on stage, I'm not like eight, and I said, she's not dirty. She didn't even write the stuff that she's saying. All she's doing is talking on stage. I like that better. Yeah. than these guys picking up garbage. But I picked up garbage till I was 35 years old. I, I always wanted to be in theater, and my father even wa was, I mean, he'd come to my plays in college and stuff. They, they supported me, uh, but I broke my ass. I worked, I went to Cal State Long Beach, and I'd go there, and then I'd come back to Montebello, get on a rubbish truck, and go to work. When I was at East LA College, I would finish a play at 11, 12 o'clock and jump on the truck and start picking up rubbish in downtown at one o'clock in the morning. As an artist, I think you're always looking for the next thing, right? Yeah. Always yeah. You trying have to, to stay grow. relevant. Yeah, I mean, it's funny because I had a camera crew last year come to my house. The first thing they wanted to do is they wanted to see where my Grammy Award was. Like, where's your Grammy Award? It's gotta be in some big glass, you know, case in the middle of the, you know, what, what your living room. Was it a doorstop? No, it's in, my, it's in my closet. It's up in my closet. You know why? Because no. if I leave it in the middle of the living room and people come in and bow down, wow. Then you feel like, okay, well, I achieved a Grammy Award. Then I'm pretty much like, okay, I've, I've got this, I'm pretty much done. That's you know? a very good way to look at it. Don't let it, don't it, let it, it it's hinder like, you. It's like, I got the Grammy, that's great, that's wonderful. Okay, let's put it here, now let's move on. Yeah, that's it, you're right. I, I was in a movie, won the Academy Award, I'm not stopping. I gotta say that Borat is one of the funniest movies I've seen. You know, it's great. Thank you. And, of course, the nude scene. What nude scene? You tell me about it. Between you and Sasha Baron Cohen is one of the most famous nude scenes between two actors in, like, in the freaking history of movies. Shit. 
Was that on tape? <laughs> no, we just had a real good connection. That's all. I didn't know they taped that. Oh, boy. Tell me about the experience. It was cold. Of doing. <laughs> and I'll tell you something else. You know that black bar that he had while we were running around? Yeah. It didn't need to be that big. <laughs> it didn't. That's, a, that's Hollywood magic. Yeah. I think a fat guy running around naked and a skinny guy running around naked, it, it's just... I think it's funny and shocking. I don't know. But it, it worked. That's all I can say is it worked. It really became funny, and it was also uh, noted by uh, the 50th funny scenes in uh, uh, Hollywood. So it worked. Whenever he's ready to do Borat 2, I'm there. But the thing is, everybody knows you guys. You can't do Borat 2 because if you walk in, people know you. Think how else? would you do it, though? In drag. That's how we do it. Are you serious? Yeah. Shave your beard, put a long hair. Leave the hair on your legs, leave the hair under your arms. You're a nice little old lady from Kazakhstan. Please, <laughs> I've gone through all this. I want to know about some of your travels. And you speak Armenian too, right? You speak yes, Armenian? Yes, in the film, I spoke Armenian. And then when I got the script for the television series I just finished, I was supposed to play Ira, a, mo a Jewish mobster. So and that's I your said, character for this upcoming? No. I said, I don't want to play Ira, the director, who's a terrific, wonderful guy. What do you want to play? Armin. OK, we'll make him Armenian. Oh. So I was able to ad lib Armenian things like this with at ease and and uh, uh, working with Armand Desate, it was like it was great. It put a little more personality in the film. Yeah, you know, using your Armenian background, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, I like that. I I want to thank Ken. Who? Oh. It was great hanging out with you, my friend. Great seeing you. Wonderful food. I want to thank Carousel, this great restaurant in Glendale. Love the food. Thank you for hosting us. If you have any comments, please put it in the comments below. Subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. I'll see you next time. Take care.